Hey, welcome everybody. In this video, we are going to learn about Inertia.js. So if you are getting started with Inertia, this is the right video for you. Let's jump into terminal and create a new Laravel application. So uh, you can go to installation section and create a new project here. Um, if you just run this command and it will generate, but I will use a Laravel installer. So I have already installed Laravel installer. So I will do Laravel new. Uh, let's call it inertia to do Okay, so once application is installed uh, we go to this starter kit and install the Laravel breeze Just copy it and run it. I will already install and once that is done just go to the breeze and view section and we'll install this view scaffolding for auth so that is just installed and once that is done we will do laravel npm install and npm run dev okay so just basic steps installing breeze and installing view so they have other options like breeze and blade I think this will install live wire version or something. Okay, so uh, if you do go with view, it will automatically do all inertia related scaffolding. So there is other option only to install API as well. All right. Okay, so once npm run dev is done, so it is using the wheat and if you open this, so this is the local server. Okay, so uh, this is not the URL where we will be developing because this is just a wheat server running and what we have to now do is let's go to terminal once again and open this up on VS Code. All right, CG into lab. Okay, so let's run PHP artisan serve. Okay, so here is our application. Let's go to the web route. So here, if you see, uh, everything is rendered from inertia. So this welcome is not a blade template it is a view component. So let's go to welcome.view and let's uh, tweak something so that we can see some changes over here. Okay, let me put here S2 tag like welcome inertia. There we go. So without page refresh, it is working. So So we have to keep this uh, server running over here. So Vite server is just compiling all the assets and here we are serving the backend. So this will be the URL where, where we'll be seeing our app and this will just compile the assets. So just make sure you keep this running. So this app URL is taking the value from here. You can change it here. All right, so uh, let's uh, go and create some route so the way uh, inertia works is you create a route and you specify the view component over here and you pass the necessary data from here and all these necessary data will be avail available on this component in as a prop so you can just uh, accept all those values as a props over here and then you can use all these. 
all right so the advantage of using the inertia is you don't need to create the api just render the component and pass the variable like you normally do in laravel so instead of blade there will be view component all the good parts of view you can utilize so the best part of both laravel and inertia so there are some disadvantages also if you want to create the mobile app and other application then you have to recreate the api because this is not api this is just a adapter between laravel and view okay so uh, let's create a simple to-do app and all the things will be cleared so um, okay by end of this video you'll understand everything about using inertia with laravel all right so let's open up our terminal new terminal and php artisan make model let's call it to do and i will create everything so it will create mo model migration controller okay there we go so let's go to to do table and here we'll only put uh, one field string title let's call it title okay let's migrate and create this table in database before doing that we have to create database so i'll put up the migration So create database inertia to do. Okay, so database is created. Let's exit through this. And if you go to ENB, this is already configured inertia to do. And password PSP artisan migrate. Okay, so all table created. Let's go to Okay, now let's go to to do controller. There we go. So all methods are available. So in here, first let's define a route, resource route. Route, resource. So everything is Laravel way. To do controller. Class like this and in index method what we can do is we have to return inertia this is the helper method and the name of the component let's call this to do app and here we can pass our variables all right so let's go and over here under pages we have to create a new view component called to do so to make this easier what i will do is i will duplicate this file and name it and let's name it to do app and i will delete everything from here i don't need style there we go This is the title, we don't need this. Okay, so this is the basic template. Let's go to server and I don't need to go there here. Let's go to to do. There we go, to do app. All right. So let's create a form over here. And we'll only need one input and then button of type submit. Let's make it a bit bigger for you. There we go.
Okay, so once that is done, uh, we need here v model just liable way form dot title and over here. So this is the form to create, and here we'll list all the to dos. Okay, here. list items and we'll loop through list items there we go and here we'll do to do dot title Okay, so this to do's we need to pass from our controller and accept it here. So here we need to pass it like this to do's to do all. There we go. Let's open this side by side. And when this to do is passed here, we need to accept like this to do's. This is the array. All right. Okay, so this is the displaying part, and let's handle how to submit form. So, what we need to do is uh, here we have a use form. Use form helper which makes our task really easy constant let's call it form use form and here our form will only contain title so this title will be bind to this and to submit the form normal view ways just to submit and then call form dot post you can do like this from directly from here and but I like to do like this let's make a function submit function submit and this form will submit form dot post and where we want to post it and then data what we want to post like this okay so everything is documented over here you can go to this form section so there is one normal way to submit the form and there is by using form helper so I'm using this form helper which is really really easy Okay, so you, you don't need to do anything. You just do like this post and where you want to post the form. So we want to post it to to do's. So this is the post request that we'll be making. So no access, nothing, just everything will be seamless. Okay, so when we hit submit, it will submit it. Let's see it in action. If this works, let's go to let's go here looks like we get some error okay so let's do submit uh, we are Okay, so it is doing normal submit. We need to prevent the default action. That will not reload the page. Otherwise, it is doing normal liable way. There we go. So uh, currently it says this to do is not found. Let's see what's the issue. Form dot to do's. I think we called it to do. There we go. Call it to do's because route name should be defined on plural. 
that is the good practice that we need to follow there we go so this is the form now let's submit some data okay so they are saying this action is not authorized okay so that is because we have not handled any store and this to do request is so here is false let's do it true and here let's handle the to do create part to do create request all and also do validation like this here request validate title is required that's it and after this is successful we need to return back so make sure everything is imported okay already imported there we go so now everything should work let's go and okay one more thing we need to make this fillable right so protected fillable okay this is submitted this is also let's refresh the page this is persisting so how to do app is working but this form is not getting reset so here if you go here you have a helper function reset there you go this should reset the form there we go okay so this is the basic to do let's add the delete button over here so to add the delete button over here there is a really uh, helpful function in inertia which is called link what this does is if you go to links so you can uh, create a link like this let's put it here so this link should go to to do's and method will be delete and this will be used to delete the this will be used to delete the to do items so make sure this is as button type button and in to do controller you just uh, you do not have to do anything just do to to do delete normal way nothing special for inertia okay so we delete it and return back so one more thing here we can use the route helper so laravel already already done all setup so that we can use this helper like to do start destroy and then to do dot id Okay, so this is the delete button yeah working perfect okay all right so this is how we do delete create so the basic idea is uh, just do normal way in the controller and make uh, you only need to do use this inertia helper to render the component and so one thing this link is really helpful and this form helper so this will handle more most of the crowd operations and you can start creating simple applications using it so i will see you on another video if you need more inertia related content uh, just uh, tell me on comment section i will see you in another video bye